guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacey. How are you guys doing with this whole coronavirus thing? Here in Cambodia, it's, I think it's a lot like it is in the States. Um, stuff is somewhat open, but still a lot of like the schools and churches are closed. Um, some businesses are closed and some are open and um, you see people around. People are still wearing face masks, but you also see some who aren't wearing face masks anymore. So as you guys know, we live in Cambodia, and this summer we were due for a visit back to the States. But because of the whole uh, virus thing, we haven't been able to travel yet, and we still don't know for sure when we're going to be traveling, um, if it's even going to happen or not. Um, anyway, today my friend Krista is going to be going shopping at Pasao Orase, which is like a market. She's going to go try to find some material. And so she invited me to go along with her, and so I thought I'd take you guys along too and just show you guys our journey. So I hope you guys enjoy going to an open air market with me and looking at some material. It's a really big market, but we're not going to be going to all of the market. We're just going to be going like to the outside part where the fabric is and um, see if we can find any pieces that we like to take back home with us to. For me, I'm going to look for some pieces that I like that my sisters and mom and stuff might like. So we'll see if we find anything. Okay, so I came over here to Christy's place, and we're going to go with her and Jan and Hannah yeah, to yeah. South Odyssey, the market. We got Kaden along with me. We got some neighbors around here watching us. <laughs> they like Kaden, like babies, foreign babies. Alright, see you guys in a bit again. And then all of this building here is Masao Orase. It's like a whole block. It goes way over that way and way back. So over here on this side is a whole bunch of fabric. So we're gonna go walk down through there and look at the fabric. We're waiting for Jan and Hannah. We're gonna meet them here in this corner. There's just lots and lots of fabric. We just can walk way down the street, way down through there, and there's just a whole bunch of fabric on this side. And that side over there is the big Orase market. I've got Kate in here, and he's almost sleeping, but not quite. <laughs> Looking at all this fabric. 
Hoping to find some material to take back um, for my sister, my mom, and um, some other ladies, family members. <laughs> All right, we're getting towards the end. Down there is starts being selling other stuff. We're doing okay. It's really hot. Tons of fabric. Not much air. He's kind of fussy. He's really sweaty and really hot, and he's sleepy. <laughs> Poor little guy. We're almost done, bud. Almost done. <laughs> so I'm looking at these two pieces of black material here. They have a slight design in them, but they're solid black. Um, they're really like a heavy weight, kind of heavy thick, <laughs> but it's so hot. I know, we're almost done. I found a place, the lady's letting me sit here for a minute. There's a fan down here blowing on us, and Caden is out. He's sweaty, but we got a fan blowing on us, so it's a lot better. And I can sit down here for a minute on this chair. We have a fan blowing on us. So I'll just sit here and rest a minute. The other ladies are still shopping, and um, then I think we'll be about done. Here is lunch, and I'm having ta tortillas and taco meat, salsa in the fridge, you gotta get out. Hey Kaden, what are you doing? Are you playing in the water, cooling off? Yeah. Goodbye, bye bye Are you happy? After all that sweat and now you can cool off. After this, then you should sleep good for a nice long nap. See me again? You wanna go swimming? Yeah. Yeah, it is hot. Maybe you can just play in water. Yeah. Alright, so I am back home from the market and we had lunch, you guys saw, and Caden played in water and now he's down for a nap. He's sleeping over there. I am so thankful for Ming Zach. She was able to come and stay with the boys while I was able to go shopping with Krista and Jen and Hannah and um, she made lunch for us and I'm so thankful for her since we don't have grandmas and aunts and uncles and sisters here to help us. It's really nice for me to even be able to get out of the house for just a little bit and have someone I trust watch the boys. I had fun there shopping and I found a couple pieces and I will show you guys the pieces I found. So these are the two pieces that I got at Passat. Like this is a thicker piece of material. It's really nice weight and I think it'll look really pretty in a skirt. It'll hang nice because it's got just a little bit of weight to it. And then this one here I got for my nieces. It's a really lightweight material. And um, before it, I had gotten them some, that was very similar to this, that had elephants in the design. And their mom made them little dresses out of it that the skirt part was like a full circle. So when they twirled, it really would spin. And it looked really nice. And it's lightweight and comfy for them. They loved it. And they wanted more like that, but I could not find any. I asked a lot of people and sadly I couldn't find any. This is the closest thing I could find. So it's that lightweight, really soft material again. It just doesn't have the elephants. 
I think they'll like it. So I got quite a bit of that so you can make a bunch of little girls dresses out of that. So this is what I got today, but then I also wanted to show you guys, I got some material a different time when I was there shopping um, that I thought you guys may enjoy looking at too. So my boys are just playing in the background. If you hear them, they're just having fun. Um, our house is all tile, so the sound just echoes everywhere. This is just like a gray piece of material. This one here is purple and it's got like a design in it. I don't know if you can see. Um, I like to pin everything because when we go back to the States and fly on the airplane, I remember how many meters everything is. So these two here are the same print, um, like a peach and a soft yellow. And this here, like, it looks kind of like lace, but it does have backing on it. And it's got, it's nice and thick. Like, I don't think you'll be able to see through it and I think they'll make some really pretty dresses. This one here is just a black and white piece. I even like it, would like it for a skirt for myself. This is just a scarf that someone gave me. And then this one here is like a tan piece with flowers in it, and I really like that one too. I think it's really pretty. I actually got two pieces of that one because I thought people might really like it. So whenever we do go to the States, I don't know when that'll be yet, but I can take all these back and I'll let people pick what they want. Hey guys, so I'm up here on my roof again, and this I'm doing laundry. It's the next day, throwing a load in my washer back there. Um, but I want to show you guys, it rained last night and it flooded, and it's rainy season here in Cambodia, and our streets flood. Um, it is not very nice, and because there's a lot of open sewer, it ends up like, the sewer ends up coming up, mixing in with the water that's on our street, so it's really like dark, gross color. I will turn the camera around and show you the view from our roof up here over the city. So, sorry, the water pump is running in the background. This is the view over the city. Um, as you can see, this is our street, and it is flooded. Up and through there it's flooded and then right here is a bunch of trash and then that down there is like our gate and this is all like water on the road and people are like driving motos through and walking through and stuff. Down the other way and right there you can see is a trash collector. She's walking through there collecting trash to recycle to earn a little bit of money. It looks like a young girl too. Oh, I feel for her. Trying to earn a couple cents to get enough food for the day. Here comes a pass up. So this is looking down at our place over here. And as you can see, the water came, is wet way up into here. So that's like the furthest up I think it's ever come. So thankfully it doesn't come in our house, but I hope if it rains more this rainy season, it doesn't come in our house. Way out there is Market Street, and they fixed it. They built it up higher so it doesn't get quite as flooded. It still floods, but it's better than what it was. For all the vendors selling stuff, their stands where they sell vegetables and stuff that we come and buy then would be really flooded in the past. And now they still flood, but not quite so bad. And yes, with sewer water, very sanitary. And anyway, since that market street is higher now, it's pushed more water back in here in our neighborhood. And it used to not flood quite this bad. So I'm not really looking forward to this rainy season and it flooding even more back in here in our neighborhood. That's going to be really inconvenient. I like the rain. I just do not like the flooding and when you have to drive moto out in it and get sewer water and stuff all in your feet or all over yourself. A lot of people get sick this time of year too, just from all the dirt. Alright, well I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed going along with me to the market and seeing the fabric in Cambodia. And um, if you did, please smash that thumbs up button, leave me a comment down below, and we'll see you guys again next week on Friday. Bye!